Hi everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you an example of the maze activity that you can do without any technology or screen free. I hope you enjoy it. Here is what I've chosen to create my grid. I've taken it and borrowed from my daughter's collection of toys. And in this puzzle that I'm creating, I'm going to navigate Gabby Gecko from a house I put in to Grandview School, only using a few blocks listed. Move forward, turn left, and turn right. Watch as I create the board. I'm going to draw grid lines using the dots that are already there. They don't have to be perfect, but try your best to create something that looks like a grid or similar to this. The next step is to add my characters and props or objects to the board. My grid is set up and I'm ready to begin my algorithm. In order for Gabby to move from her house to the school, the first step she must do is move forward. After that, she needs to move forward a second time, followed by a third time. This means there are three move forward blocks in my algorithm to start. The next step Gabby needs to do is to turn right. I bring the block down to my algorithm. The final block to get to Grandview School would be for Gabby Gecko to move forward. And I add the final block to my algorithm. My algorithm is now the following. Move forward, move forward, move forward, turn right, move forward. I hope this helps clarify and have fun creating your boards. That was a lot of fun, right? If you'd prefer to do technology-based lessons, I have them posted on my webpage. For those of you who give the maze a try, with your parents' permission, snap a picture and send it my way. I can't wait to post your mazes and puzzles.